Who's your ex? Verity. You told her that I took a girl to Paris. You did? Yeah, of course I did, but why would you tell her that? Like, <laughs> Eliza put a picture on social media. Mm. Mitt found it. I happened to see it. And Thank showed you, it Mitt. to Verity. All right, fast forward. We turn up to Herman's birthday. OK. You've invited Verity along. Sure. To call me out. Completely. What pleasure do you get out of that? To watch you squirm. The problem is, you took a girl to Paris, whether it's right or wrong. I, I, don't, I don't give a shit. Obviously, the other girl's going to get pissed off. You, that's your own why fault. Would you, not, why, would you, why would you ever show her? That's not, that's not his fault. It's on social media, mate. You should have said to Eliza, look, this is a dirty secret weekend. Would you mind not putting it on social I didn't media? Sure. <laughs> it was never a dirty secret, because if it ever well, went it fucking further... was, because you lost your shit afterwards. All I care about is the fact that you have meddled with me in Verity, because I care about her. OK, so if you care about her, then why don't you treat her well? I cannot hang out with her as a friend, because... I'm attracted to her. I see her and I just want to grab her and I want to rip her clothes off. You know what so that's like. So you just purely see her as sex? Fuck you. Well, what do you see her as? <laughs> do you see her as a friend or do you see her purely as sex? I care about her. So then like... why do you just want to rip her clothes off? Why don't you want to love her and treat her well? That should be the first emotion that comes into your mind. But no, it's just purely sex. And that's my problem. You don't understand mine and Verity's si like, situation. You do not understand our relationship I'm not saying I do. All. I just think Verity is better than you. And I think you know that, and I think that's what bums you out. But you're making presumptions about everything. No, I'm just saying with her, they think she's better than you. That's uh, not... Which I probably agree. That's not about your relationship. I just think that as an individual, I think she's better than you. You've said that three times, thank you. I've said a fourth. I think she's Keep, better than you. Keep going one more time. Yeah. Okay, no, one more time. She's better than thank you. Thank you, cheers. You have some deeper issues with me. Yeah, I me. do. I'd love to have you in my life, and as a friend. But I can't be one-on-one -on -one with you because I want to date other people. I can't make sense of it, Verity. I don't understand why you've got this huge block against me, like, going any further. But also, like, you dating Rosie. If you ever, like, got into a relationship with her, I'd literally be like, that is, like... Like, I just why? couldn't even, like, like Why were you more. never enough? Yeah, like, cos that's a reflection on me. Maybe it is. I don't know how to control that. I, w I want, in your head, to know how much I care about you. I don't want Jamie's opinion to affect that. I mean, it has affected me. Do you want me to walk away from you? Do you want me to leave you? Like, just I completely alone? I think you just alone? need to have respect for me. That's where Jamie's coming from. It's the whole respect thing, it's as friends. Jamie's coming. Hey, Jamie. Hey. Hi. Respect? Is that what we're talking about? Is there a lack of it at the moment again? I think so, yes. Jamie, please watch yourself. Please watch what you say, please. Why? Watch what? Because explain why your involvement with me and Verity is so important to you. If you just stood there like a man and said, you know what, I fucked up, this is how I'm feeling, then I would have respect for you, but no one can have respect for you right now because all you're doing is talking shit to everyone. You'll get, you're saying to her that you care about her when you don't, all you want to do is have sex there. You know that, you said that around the poker table to everyone else. You're annoyed at me because what I do is I bring out your bullshit and I stand up to you. Leave her alone, that's all you need to do. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do that? Explain. It's very simple. It's you, very... Oh, I'd like to see what's, what's your point. Do you agree no, with I, what you said? I do agree with him. Do you agree with everything Jamie's he said? Jamie's seen me be actually sad about you. Really sad. She's seen you be sad in front of me. Do you want to be with her, James? No, do you want I to... don't want to be with her, okay. which I've told her. Don't, okay, don't so talk so for just two minutes. So leave me alone. So leave her alone. I've seen her be upset enough times. So have I. So then why do you keep doing it? Don't keep doing it. Do it's a two-way thing. Do you get a thrill out of it? You James, basically you do make me sad. You make me sad. I make you sad because you're in love with me and I'm not in love with you and I've told you that so many times. So just leave me alone then. I had some respect for you. I fucking looked up to you. I was like, wow, this guy's got some business acumen. I love him. Like, not fucking love, love him, but like. And I'm so like, this is about me. This is what you're it's doing. About, so, well, it's, so of exactly. it's about you, but it's about our whole relationship. I don't have a relationship with you. You're a fucking little bitch, Jamie. You go around fucking with my relationship, and it's pissed me right off. Jamie, like I no, but you're very insecure. You just spilled it. Well done, buddy. What, what you've done is you've now you just made a fool of yourself once again. Have I? To Verity or to you? Because I don't.